If you want to know how to make a shift to sprint and sit to crouch in your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. My name is Newbie and um, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a C to crouch and shift to sprint. We're going to make separate scripts. I'm first going to show you the crouching one and then the sprinting one. Today's shout out goes to this person on screen right now. Congratulations for showing some support. If you want a chance, just comment something nice on this video and I will choose you for poggers. And you'll just get a shout out in my video. You like it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, do what I said, please. I need subs. Okay, I don't. Anyways, um, if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. And we can start off. First of all, you want to go to start your player. I'm going to click this away. You, now you're at start your player. You open it. And you see start your character scripts. Click the plus and select local script. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see. Now we're going to type local user input equals the game colon get service user input service. Now we're going to do local humanoid is equals the script dot parent colon wait for child humanoid. Because the starter player, or like the starter character, is like script apparent. Now we can do a local anim. We're going to make an animation. I'll show you exactly how to make it. Make, feel free to be creative, etc. Just be creative. Yeah, just feel free to be creative. Local anim is because the humanoid colon load animation. What this does is you're going to put an animation in your local script. I'm going to show you exactly how to in a minute. And then... We're gonna load it into a humanoid so the player can actually play the animation. Now we can do a script, colon, wait for child, animation. Now put in an animation, like that. And now you have an animation. Now you can do local active crouch. It's equal to false. You're not crouching yet. And we're gonna make you crouch. User input, that input begun. Into input begin, I have no idea. Colon connect function key. If key dot key code, so like if you're gonna press C, you're gonna crouch. If key dot key code is equals equals to enum dot key code dot uh, C, then if not active crouch, then so if you're not crouching, the active crouch is gonna be set to true, so you are crouching. We're gonna play the animation. And we're going to set your humanoid that walk speed to 10, so you're slower because you're crouching. If this is not completely the case, we're just going to do active crouch. 6 to false. Anim, colon, stop. We're going to stop your animation. And we're going to reset you back to 16, which is the normal walk speed. So this is your crouch script already completely done. Yes. Yes. Now we're going to show you how to make an animation for that. I'm going to go to view. You're going to uh, actually, you're going to go to plugins. I got a bunch of plugins. You get the point. There's like in command. Anyways, I want to go to build rig. So as you know, you open this menu. Then you click blog rig. Like that. Now you go to animation editor. You click the rig and you give it a name. So let's see. We can just do crouch. Crouch animation like this now you can click create and now you got this menu now because of it's a um, Animation wait, you just want to do you want to click this this random part and You just want to scale yourself down like like this So then you want to just do this so you're looking above or like in front of you I'm gonna make it very basic. It's gonna glitch a little bit I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna do boom Boom, boom, and boom, boom, boom. So this is my little crouch animation. It's going to probably glitch, but that's going to be fine. I really wouldn't mind. Now that you've done this, you can click this, 
then go to set animation priority and set it to action. Now that you've done that, click the three dots again, go to export, and then you see this. Now, description, just do whatever you want, I'm just gonna do. This is a YouTube video. And the creator is gonna be me. Now just click submit and you're gonna get an ID on your screen. Make sure to copy and paste that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click this, ID copied. Now I'm gonna click close. Now I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna delete my dummy. Boom. I'm go to an animation and I pasted the ID in. Enter. Now feel free to test. I've showed you exactly how to make an animation. Feel free to be creative, whatever you want. So let's see. Yeah, I, I knew this was gonna happen. At least it's a crouching animation. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, this is my little crouching animation. Of course, it's gonna glitch out, as you can see. It's like pretty weird, but it's because I'm not the best anima animation uh, editor or something. So um, yeah, that, that 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 yeah, I have no logical explanation. Now we can continue on with making the sprint one. Let's go. All right, so I just showed you how to make a crouching animation. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a new script. So you want to you want to delete the animation. Burp. Now you have this. Do the same as I do. Just delete all of this and delete uh, this line like that. So now you got this. Yes, yes, yes. And instead of active crouch, we're gonna do active sprint. So now what we are going to do is going to be if uh, well actually if key dot key code is equals equals to enum dot key code dot sh uh, left shift or right shift whatever you want just do it out do what key you want. Then, and now it's going to be a tricky part. If not active sprint, then else. So this is going to be our little script. Now we're just going to do active sprint is equals to true. Now we're going to do humanoid dot walk speed. Uh, I'm actually going to do 24, so we're going to walk faster. And over here, copy these two lines, paste them over here, set this to 16. I set this to false. Exit your script. Feel free to test this out. We're gonna test this out to get there. Very excited. So now we're here. As you can see we're walking normally. Now we press left shift one time. As you can see we're going faster. And now I'm gonna press it again. And we're going slower. Faster, slower. I'm actually gonna show it over here. Faster, slower. Faster, slower. So this is a really quick video, um, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, if you're new to the channel, do what I said, my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.